You can use assigned access to restrict customers at your business to using only one Windows app so your device acts like a kiosk. You can use devices like digital signs, interactive displays, ATMs, and many other things. Administrators can use assigned access to restrict a selected user account to access a single Windows app. You can choose almost any Windows app for assigned access, however, some apps may not provide a good user experience. You can enable kiosk mode from, start, settings, accounts, family and other users, set up a kiosk, get started. The first step is creating an account for the kiosk mode. You can add a new account or choose an existing account from this window. If you select the choose an existing account, it shows the list of the non-administrator accounts. Or you can create a new account. Then it will show you the list of Windows apps you can use in the kiosk mode. For easy understanding, I am using the calculator app. You can change the selected app or remove the kiosk from here. You need to log in to the kiosk user account to use the kiosk app. When the user is logged in, the app shows in full screen. And the minimize, maximize, close buttons are not available. Also, the user cannot shut down the device. The only thing available is to log out using the Control plus Alt plus Delft button combination. Also, if the kiosk crashes, it will automatically restart without showing any error. You can get a good understand using the help me pick the right app option. It shows you all the information you want to know regarding the Windows kiosk mode. Also, you can learn how to use more than one app in kiosk mode using this guide. Also, there are few limitations with the kiosk mode. As a general guideline, Windows apps must be provisioned or installed for the assigned access account before they can be selected as the assigned access app. Learn how to provision and install apps. Updating a Windows app can sometimes change the application user model ID, AUM ID, of the app. If this happens, you must update the assigned access settings to launch the updated app, because assigned access uses the AUM ID to determine which app to launch. Apps that are generated using the desktop app converter, desktop bridge, cannot be used as kiosk apps. Some Windows apps can launch other apps. Assigned access prevents Windows apps from launching other apps. Avoid selecting Windows apps that are designed to launch other apps as part of their core functionality. As a web browser guideline, in Windows 10, version 1803, and later, you can install the Kiosk Browser app from Microsoft to use as your Kiosk app. For digital signage scenarios, you can configure Kiosk Browser to navigate to a URL and show only that content, no navigation buttons, no address bar, etc. For kiosk scenarios, you can configure additional settings, such as allowed and blocked URLs, navigation buttons, and end session buttons. For example, you could configure your kiosk to show the online catalog for your store, where customers can navigate between departments and items but aren't allowed to go to a competitor's website. Kiosk browser supports a single tab. If a website has links that open a new tab, those links will not work with kiosk browser. Kiosk browser does not support PDFs. Kiosk browser cannot access intranet websites. That's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.